So if you look in the bottom of this exhibit, there's another group of some weird and wonderful chondrichthians over here. So these are all going to be raffish relatives as well as opposed to on the shark side of things. And way back in the Paleozoic, uh, ratfish and their relatives had these really weird body designs that you don't see in modern day ratfish. What's really cool about these is these are actually known from articulated remains, particularly found in the Bear Gulch limestone in Montana which preserves around 320 million year old fossils. It's one of the coolest lager shot for um, articulated remains of Paleozoic shark relatives. So starting over here, this strange guy is Balancia montana. It kind of looks like a pearfish, but this is a ratfish relative um, that's known to have what are called patellodont teeth, which are these really um, leaf-shaped teeth so those are really cool. Another really strange one is this guy right here, which is called Harpago Fududor. So if you look over here, the males had these long appendages on their heads. You can kind of think of that as like a tenaculum that you can see in some modern day ratfish. And females like this model over here did not have that head appendage. So that's a very sexually dimorphic trait that's really unique on these. These right here are called Traquarius, and they are a um, manaspiform, so they have these really long spikes going down them. So those spikes are considered to be dermal denticles or skin scales that um, sharks and their relatives would have, but they evolved into these spikes, which probably would have helped protect them from predators, given that this is the real life size of these things. And one more that we have in here is this guy, which is Heteropetalus. So that's a cute little ratfish relative. It has a cool little dorsal fin spine. And yeah, that's also gonna be a life-size representation of that. So in the Bear Gulch, there was a huge diversity of these ancient shark relatives, really making it an awesome place. And it's really cool that this museum has an exhibit um, to showcase that.